Hello crafters. Welcome to my craft room. This is a project that I made a couple of months ago. Um, it's a set of cards. I used crumb cake and a rich raspberry with the uh, five-way flower stamp and the en francais stamp. And um, it's sort of a, a set of note cards with matching envelopes. I just made those out of some craft paper that I had. And it all goes together in its own box with a little bag with sentiments and some little dimensionals. But the sentiments, uh, unfortunately you can't see it on just this one, the sentiments have two different sentiments on the back. So if you give this to someone they can choose which sentiment, hope you're better soon, and then on the other side it says just a note, or the thanks. So they can choose which one, thank you, uh, which one they're going to use. So I thought that was a good idea because you don't always, um, you know, use all the thank you cards or, or you sometimes you need a card that says something different. So this way, the person who is going to get this car, uh, this box set, uh, can choose what to put on and then the dimensionals are there for them to put it on. So I thought that was a nice touch. And, listen, it has a magnetic clasp. So this is a set that we're going to be making. I'm going to show you how to make this. Um, first video will be how to make the cards. So I have made the cards. I have been dying to make these cards in the new in colours. Um, then the second video will be how to make the box and I have already posted a video um, about how to make an envelope so that is with the perfect blend stamp set so you can go and take a look at that. Um, these are 4x4 four four cards that's the same as a perfect blend one. So on with this video. So as you can see I've made uh, the same cards but in Tangelo Twist, Lost Lagoon and Hello Honey. And I was a bit worried about the colours on the crumb cake because of course it's going to distort the colour. Uh, but I think it's it's fairly okay. I think I, I like it. So now, uh, as you can see I've also uh, decorated the inside. So now we're going to make the Blackberry Bliss version. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make that. So I have here <coughs> crumb cake. 8 by 4, scored at 4. We're going to fold it in half <coughs> and score it. And then I'm going to use the envelope punch board to punch the corners. It does do two layers at a time, so don't worry. Okay, so that's that card done. Then I have here the inside, which is um, three and three quarters. No, just shy of of the of the four by four, so that it it has a little border there. Okay, I wasn't brought up in imperial, so for me it's a little bit. I need to think about it still. Uh, then here, actually, these are two are the same size, so they are um, four. So they are three and three quarters square, both these squares. Okay, so there we go. So that's that. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, then we're going to work our way from the inside out, I think. Um, I've got this stamp from the um, Banner Blast Celebration. Uh, stamp set which um, I got for free in the celebration in 2014 so this year and let's stamp one two three so you get the color variation so that can go in there just to dry then we are going to do the background here uh, for that I'm using crumb cake on crumb cake the en francais stamp I'm going to ink it up With a big stamp you always take the ink pad 
to the stamp and not the other way around. That way you can make sure that the ink has been everywhere on the stamp. And we're going to just lay it down and push really well. There we go. And that's that. So now what we do is we take our dauber and we are going to edge the sides just to make it a little bit more sort of a, I like the look, I like the look but it's also um, to make it a little bit more vintagey and a bit old, worn a little bit um, of an effect When I do, I always take my ink from the corners because you tend to ink up your stamps in the middle and then that runs out quite quickly. So and we just go around a little bit like that to heighten the effect even more. Right, that's that. So now we are going to glue this together, I think. In using the in making the other cards just now, I used lots of glue, so it's getting there. It's nearly finished. Okay, let's see. Right, that's there. Then we put this one on. A bit of glue. I'm not uh, raising this layer because, as you, I don't know whether you've noticed, but the flower is quite a high. Uh, construction so there's no need to raise this one as well okay there we go so that's our basic card now what we need to do is stamp our flower in blackberry bliss which I've already done because um, when I first stamped it um, with the five-way flower I did wonder whether it was going to be too dark on the um, crumb cake so I let it dry for a little while and the colour did sort of lighten a little bit so I'm glad I did it in advance because now you can see that it is blackberry bliss before it looked black so um, don't worry if you just um, when you've just stamped it it will look really dark but it will be um, okay so this is my big flower that I've already um, punched out. Then we have the second layer that I've already got punched out and then we need the third and the fourth layer. So I'm going to just scoot this in. I mean my hand. Yeah. Uh, just try and line up the flower. There we go. That's for there. And then we're needing the small... I needed... I've got all the scallop punches, the circle scallop punches for this card, so um, you need all of them. Okay, so that's that one. And then what I do is I go back in to this one. No, actually I'm going to use this one because that this one is nicer. It printed nicer, so I'll just cut off a bit. And let's do this one again. And now I can go in with my itty bitty punch and punch out a little flower. Should have done that a little bit bigger there. Never mind. There we go. And I've got all my layers ready to go. So what we need to do now is put dimensionals on almost every layer. All right, so we've got the first layer. We need some dimensionals to go onto the card. Are you noticing my fingers? <laughs> oh dear. This, that is a couple of cards with Blackberry Bliss. I tell you, that ink gets everywhere. So, warning. Do be careful with your Blackberry Bliss. I mean, it's gone on my clothing, it's gone on my fingers. I had it here, I've been to the shops like this. I mean, honestly. Right, I hope it comes off in the shower. Okay, so we're almost 
building up to our full flower. There we go. And then this one takes dimensional on this side. And we put that I just I'll try to line up the edges, the scallops. There we go. Then we have this one, the little one. Oh, never mind. And I push it down into my hand to make it stand out. Then I add a pearl to the middle. And yes, I'm still doing my um, my gluing to my pearls, but I just noticed it was a pack of a hundred, honestly. So I'm nearly there. Nearly there. And I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to take this whole thing into the glue. And then I'm going to put that on top of my flower. See? So that's the construction of the flower that we need to go onto our card. So our card is here. Turn it over. Take off the backing. I put it sort of slightly up so that there is space for the sentiment. And the sentiments are made by just using any uh, stamp that would fit my, um, my punch here. Okay, so it says, hope you are better soon. It says, thank you. It says, blooming marvellous. It says, happy birthday. Um, I stamped it on just a piece of scrap, punched it out, then turned over the punch out and stamped it again. Um, sometimes you you might think, well, it's not so easy to uh, stamp on the already punched out, but otherwise you can't do the both sides. So I think that's a fairly um, effective and efficient way of giving people a more of an opportunity, more choice, actually, uh, for a sentiment. Uh, and then I edged the edges with uh, crumb cake. I did these in um, crumb cake because the set is different colours. So I won't be able to make them for every colour uh, that um, for the cards, you know, that are on the cards. So this is the set of cards now completed with the Blackberry Bliss one. I've already made the labels. So hopefully you will join me in uh, next tomorrow. Uh, to see how I'm going to make the box to take all the cards. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and I hope you'll try and make uh, my cards. Um, go to Ophelia Stamping Craft on YouTube and you will find lots more of my videos. Bye!